Marks and Spencer has been one of the most famous retailers in the United Kingdom for over 125 years. If you go to your nearest town or city centre, you'll almost certainly find one. It is an important part of British life. But who were Marks and Spencer? Michael Marks was a businessman from Belarus, which at that time was part of the Russian Empire. Thomas Spencer was born in Skipton, Yorkshire. He worked as a cashier for a wholesale company. They were both very ambitious, but at the time they were unlikely business partners. Michael Marks immigrated to England in 1882 and moved to Leeds. He wanted to start a business, so he met Isaac Dewhurst, a wholesaler operating from this warehouse, which is still called the Dewhurst Building today. Marks borrowed five pounds from Dewhurst and established a stall here at Kirkgate Market. It wasn't easy. Marks worked long hours and was on his feet all day serving customers. But his stall quickly became popular and he opened several penny bazaars, a shop where everything cost a penny. His business was growing rapidly and he soon needed a partner. He asked Isaac Dewhurst. He said no, but he recommended his senior cashier instead, Tom Spencer. Spencer agreed to join Marks, and on the 28th of September, 1894, Marks and Spencer was born. The partnership was an instant success, and throughout the 20th century, the business continued to grow. Today, there are over 700 Marks and Spencer stores in the United Kingdom and 361 international stores in more than 40 countries. They employ over 85,000 people and everyone, from the sales assistants to the chairman, works as a team. The Marks and Spencer Group has an annual revenue of over 10 billion pounds and over the next few years, the company is going to expand in other countries. They are going to open 250 new stores, meaning they'll sell more in India, China, Russia and the Middle East. They are also going to expand their online shopping business, so they'll soon sell everything through their website too. And they won't stop there. After over 120 years, they will continue to build on one of the biggest brands in British business. <laughs>